Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Brendan and today we're going to be thinking about playing some more Frostpunk. Alright, let's get straight into it. Episode 10. Looks like there's a huge storm coming. So, I guess we've got to batten down the hatches and see how we go. So, stereoscopic lens is our current goal. We might actually do a keep homes warm challenge. God, that would be it. Managed to heat up all the homes. Storm comes, kills everyone. Alright, let's get into it. So I've noticed these little areas have popped up. So we might go send our scouts to go have a look-see. 24 hours, 19 hours. Alright, so if I send them to the further ones, they'll come in. Now, it doesn't look like we know how long it's going to take for the storm to hit. Hopefully, a good week. Ten days would be nice. Right, so what have we got to figure out? So, 14 hours of coal left. We have a lot of sick people. In fact, the triage method might be... ...needed here. Because what's that? So 73 are being treated, 71 are sick. So that's going to be a lot of death. Maybe I should save it. We might be able to get through this quickly. I mean, look, we've got a lot of care houses, a lot of medical posts. Right, let's crack into it. So we've still... I think we've managed to take in all the refugees. Unless there's anyone hidden where our scouts are going. It looks like we're on the right track. Not a word. I am a little bit stressed about the whole coal situation. But I don't really know what else to do. Let's get everybody working so that we can start planning what we're going to do next. So we're starting off with a tip from a believer. Hoarding food and other supplies. Excellent. We will accept no hoarding in these parts. Unless it's for the good of everyone. I'm also worried about if everybody finds out that there's a big storm coming, it might be another disaster like that of Winter Home. Do I sign... Ooh. We can get the final new faith decision. With the introduction of the new faith, all who voice doubts will be branded enemies of the faith. Everyone must be devoted to the survival of our cause. All those who do not follow will be swept aside. Right. So hope will never be a problem again. A public execution space will be built. Some heretics will die. Some people will feel compelled to fight this law. Some of them will die. I might maybe wait. That seems like a last hurrah type deal. So we've got funerals. I don't think we really need to worry about putting all the kids to work. 14 hour work days, that's not so bad. We can go dueling law. I prefer people don't start killing each other. Hmm. Maybe it's a good idea to get a pub. Let's, let's have a look. Oh, that's a perfect spot. There we go. Exactly, Larry. Maybe that will help with this discontent. People can go, drink away their problems and their sorrows. Oh, it's slowly freezing. Of course it is. Awesome. This is hard, because as much as it would be great for Hope to not be a problem, 
it's not really a problem, you know what I mean? Like, we've got it pretty locked down. Okay, generator efficiency. Do we have this fancy... Hmm, this monitor thing that we need to get? Ah, there it is. Ah, crack on with it, boys. Okay, were there any... Okay, so there's a lot of bunkhouses. They're really expensive, though, normal houses. session when I botched the recording. Good-o. I've got steam combines. Oh, I haven't got one over here. Okay. So our scouts have reached the snow burrows. A group of barely alive people hiding in several burrows dug into piles of snow. Let's check it out. The price of survival. All these people are deathly ill. It's a wonder that they're still alive. The snow burrows are only a little less freezing than the surrounding icy wasteland. They won't last a day. Alright. Bring them back. There's going to be no man left behind. Which means I'm going to need to worry about more housing and more sick people. So maybe another... Actually, that fits in there quite well. Another infirmary. William, you got to stay positive, mate. All right, we've reached the deep hollow. There are wounded people and dead bodies at its rocky bottom. Okay, so more people. Bring them, bring them all. Get me to your camp compass. Okay. So I don't know if I can maximum number of scouts, maximum number of expeditions. Okay, it doesn't look like it's moving. Although I could also just have no sense of distance, so... We'll worry about that later. There are more pressing matters. Alright, so that's been updated. Coal is skyrocketing. That's good. I don't need to worry about signing laws. 88 people are being treated. Oh, do you know what? It'll probably be... Alright, so... I don't have to worry about housing. Where is the... Okay, so we do have the prosthetics. So here's my thought pattern, right? If we can get the factory, we can start putting these amputees to work because I have a feeling that a lot of these are going to turn into amputees and then we're going to have a thousand care houses ticking away. Right, so they've come back. Um, Camp Compass. Off you go. Because how far away is that? That's only like one. 12 hours, maybe? Should be alright. Alright. So, wood is full. I guess I just. I should always be looking for more resources. I suppose. Four main resources anyway. Okay, so we'll go coal, wood. Alright, cool, they're back. Ooh. Wood. Steel, probably not. We'll go raw food and food rations. Should I get another cookhouse? Do I have more than one? much rations as possible. Hmm, where do I put it? That's the question. I guess I try and keep it 
here, where this heating is. Wish I could put there. At least that might gives the sick an easy access to food. Right. Okay. Runaway child. Sir, a man is here to see you. He says that his daughter has run away after the news of the storm spread. He wants to borrow a scout sled and go after her. She's a big girl, but she was always very impulsive and she scares easily, the father explains. I must find her before she's lost for good. Equipment for the journey. Yeah. Alright. Go get her back. You quickly to the camp. Go, go, go. Free time, rest time. Well, hey, look at that. Finally, it's taken 10 episodes, but I finally kept everyone warm. <sighs> I could just quit the game now. I mean, I won't, because there's still so much to do, but I feel like my life is more fulfilled now that I've managed to do this. Right. Although, it's going to get cold. Maud, stop it. Oh wow, that's a big load of sick people. Right, okay, so... This is bad. Tech. Steam hub. Chuck it. I think we can afford it in this room. Okay, um... Prepare for the storm. Sir, the scientists couldn't believe their eyes, but they've doubled and triple checked their calculations. They say the strongest winds of the storm will cause the temperature to plummet beyond anything we've ever experienced before. Hunting will be impossible. The plants in the hot houses will freeze. Everyone left outside the city will perish. So if we can't heat our homes properly, we have to prepare. Right, okay. How much is that good for? That's not too bad. Right. Do I have... God, there's so much to do. Hang on, let me pause this. I'm just reading. So we've got to recall all scouts and outpost teams. Six days. Alright, so we've got a week. So, research power and overdrive. 3,450 food rations? What? Okay, well, I guess soup it is. Uh. Right. This is going to be tricky. So, power three upgrade couplings. So, I think I'll go. Right. So, how much does that take? Nine hours. Twelve hours. Oh, this is gonna cut it real close. I think I've gotta be really careful about these times. Um, so let's go that. We can turn heaters on. Maybe I'm just not gonna to have to worry about the factory. Maybe I'm just beyond that point. Sick, but they're also getting treated pretty quickly. Oh no, we need more food rations. We do not have enough storage for it all. So I think this is just going to all have to be food storage. Oops. It's a bit out there. That's my economy. Okay, 
so... Oh wait, that's raw food, isn't it? Food rations. I'm worried because, as you see, when they're all asleep, the coal mines aren't really on, and they're also freezing with heaters on. So maybe I'm going to have to steam hub these places. So annoying! And then that's run by an automaton. Okay. Another hoarder, good, good. Right. Okay. So, automatic prototyping. So, we got tier 5. So, we should be. day per tech, or I could go two techs if I push them for 24 hours. Is there anything that gets me food faster? Industrial hothouse. Ten hours. Alright, so if I think about it, people are going to get sick no matter what, so I need to focus on Heating and food. So, so that's one day, two day, three day, four. I'm gonna have to push these guys. Really am. Actually. It's not too bad. Right, let's go that. Okay, so you're at Camp Compass. Explore it. New priorities. Small group of scientists is finishing loading the supplies. They work efficiently, but in silence, looking somewhat dejected. We were mostly helping with the evacuations now. One of them tell us, we used to study the Earth's magnetic field, but there are more important things to worry about now, like survival. Right. Go, 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 go. Right, they're nearly there. Okay, they've reached Camp Meteor. Ice camp is built around a large hole in the ice. Might be the impact crater of a meteorite. Yeah, right. We searched the remains of a camp. This must have been some scientific operation dedicated to the research of whatever punched this hole in the ice. Okay. Do I go convoy, crater, crevice, home? Probably. Convoy, crater, home. Okay. Five days. Right. I feel like we should probably wait until maybe day three, maybe two, we'll see. Alright. Oh, do you know what I can do actually? Extended shifts on 
research. Then we can do that. Alright. Okay, so that was the good coal mine. So we'll go. Where are we? Food. We'll go. Industrial hothouse. And start using these, these steam cores, I think. So. Three. Six, nine. Scatter convoy. Alright, so we've reached our places. The convoy's vehicles have been damaged by heavy blows. The snow is trodden and stained with what seems like buckets of blood. Oh, hungry polar bears. Inside damaged crawlers, we found several dead bodies. Few of them are torn apart like they were partially eaten by some beasts. Polar bears, we think. We'll never know for sure what happened here. But there's nothing useful for us to salvage from this gruesome place. Okay, so to the crater with you. And then we have these guys have reached the ice caves. Numerous frozen bodies lie on the cave floor. They must have run out of fuel for their stoves. Flummoxing Flux. By the dead bodies, we have found many crates filled with papers, a testimony of the extensive research dedicated to the fluctuations of the Earth's magnetic field. It's too heavy to understand by our scouts and too heavy to bring to the city. Well, I guess if we survive, we can go and pick it up, but let's go to the hut. All right. So we're actually making quite good progress with everything, I think. So... Hungry mother. Sir, a woman has come to plead with you. She wants more food rations, but the cook says she's already received her allowance. I beg you, Captain. The woman says in a trembling voice, your men mean well, but they must have made a mistake. I need two rations, one for me and one for my sick child, please. Hmm... The two rations, discontent will rise, or hope will fall. Well, if she's in the hospitals, she should be getting food. I think she's just stressing out. So if we, unfortunately, we can't bend the rules, but I'll keep what you say in consideration. second now. There they go. Actually, how many engineers have I got? I should just build another workshop. Okay. Food theft causes riots. Sir, we've investigated the discrepancies between the raw food use and the output of the cookhouses. It turns out the cooks are stealing food. People are furious. We've caught two thieves. They say they wanted to secure their families before the storm shuts down the food supply. Like, banishing them is pretty harsh. Faith keepers, crack it down. Where's their public panel? There we go. Okay. Scouts are reaching places. So the large crater. It's hard to judge the crater's size from a distance. Its vastness only becomes apparent up close. The camp is empty. Lost without a trace. The crater is fresh with broken ice around the rim. We searched the camp for clues to the scientists' fates and found none. Everything is in order, but not a perfect order. It looks like they went out to do something and didn't return. Maybe they tried to descend into the crater and got lost in the maze of broken ice or got caught by a blizzard or both. 
so I can get some technology. Take it. And then head to the crevasse. The fortified hut. The fence that surrounds the Arctic hut has been destroyed. Shattered as if a pack of wild animals went through it. An ill-fated project. Scientists who built this station designed it to withstand the Arctic climate, but they clearly underestimated the fierce Arctic fauna. The doors and windows have been bashed in by heavy blows, letting inside the cold and snow. Scientific and light there. Let me try that again. Scientific and life support equipment froze and burst, dooming the base and its inhabitants. But more technology. Right. Get back to the city. Four days. Halfway to the food rations. Oh good. Okay. Right. So. Heating. So we need overdrive couplings. I need the power. So we'll go power. We'll throw people in there. We will upgrade the hot houses. Do I get a bunch of hunting huts? It's only 15 food per day. Or do I get another? I think I get another hot house. Do I need to sign any crazy laws? So what have we got? We got the House of Pleasure. Yeah, good oh. Got Moonshine. That combos with soup really well. Every meal slightly lowers discontent. Eating soup causes less discontent. That's brilliant. Bam. going to be eating soup, then might as well crack on. So turn that on. Awesome. So that's power. So it's like 12 hours. Four days. So I'm getting there. Food. Do we have enough rations? It doesn't really say. Like what the max is. But I think if that's 1500, we should clear. 3,000 easy. It's just making sure that the cooks aren't stealing the bloody food. Coal is ticking up. Okay. Discontent. Wow! Dramatically dropping! Alright. Yeah, so there we go. Colder, colder again. Public penance is starting. Oh, wow. People are dying? What, what from? Oh, on the expeditions. Oh no. As long as our scouts make it back, we're okay. And them there and them there. Survivors slowly heading back. Okay. So that's out of resources. So we'll dismantle you and maybe look at housing. Doom-mongering drunks. Sir, a dozen or so people got drunk and took to the streets. They were chasing after women, 
yelling that we should have some fun before the storm kills us all, what should we do? They'll be sent to sober up, but their doom mongering will affect hope and discontent, or I can banish them. Just send them home. I can handle all of this, it's fine. It's fine. We can go. Evening prayers. They're just joking. Alright, we've reached the ice crevasse. We found the dying people's Nansen's refugees told us about. They're sheltering in an ice crevasse. Alright. On the verge of death. These people are on their last legs. Despite taking shelter in an ice crevasse, many of them suffer from heavy phos bleh, frostbite, not phosphite, and hypothermia. We can help them still if we act quickly and bring them to our city. They can't stand on their own. Some can hardly speak. And this camp... Ah, oh, another camp. Bugger. Um, detour quickly to there. And then we'll... Oh, no! I've lost the outposts. They froze. Ah, oh, okay. Crap. Oh, that would have been the people that died. Oh, no. There's a transport left. Okay, cool. So, that's the food rations. Alright. I think I prefer that coming than the steam cores. It's a shame about the steam cores, though. I have four days. Right. Everything's going to be fine. I feel like I need to do something about this low cold because it's starting to really stress me out. Maybe I need to do bigger days for you. Another tip. Excellent. Well done. Okay. rescued everyone we could from the places we knew that were still sheltering survivors god help the rest okay right done power nice overdrive couplings i feel like that's a hint that we're going to be overdriving throughout most of this time 99 an hour, 59 an hour. Maybe I can... Throw some workers in there for now. Just because they produce more? Do I do the emergency shift? I feel like food is ticking away nicely, but if we need to stockpile a lot of coal, like this is six hours. If they can't work because it's too cold, we're going to be buggered. So maybe... That's a lot of discontent. That's alright. I'll tank it. For the good of everyone, coal mines run in 24 hours. Ooh, look at that coal. Spirits are high. Sir, the people you ordered to stay for the emergency shift return to work without a word of complaint. We know that with the storm coming, we need to put in extra hours. Everyone has to work together if we're to survive the deadly cold. Yes! I love it. Okay. Amazing. So that will tick up. Good, good, good. Uh, we're slowly dealing with the food. Oh my god, the scouts. Don't forget about the scouts. Okay, Camp Vulcan. As we approach the camp, we can see that its inhabitants are busy packing. They've dismantled a couple of huts and built improvised sledges. Ever the skeptic. You're going the wrong way. The scientists mistook us for refugees. But after we tell them that our city, they're nonplussed. It's probably too close to the storm to withstand it. Well, you might consult Nason on that if you reach him in the south. With their work done, we should convince them to join us so we can show them our city. We'll direct them to the city. Whoa, this is going to push it, I think. Jagged rocks. Well, we covered the south. 
And everyone was either... Well, they were all dead, so... I didn't see any mention of this Nansen fellow. Our other scouts are there. Can I get... I'll go get them to escort the, the remaining survivors so they get back quickly. Okay. Right. I don't really need to chunk discontent right now. Oh, do you know what I probably can do? Is... Just chuck these up. Two... Or do I 24 hours them? Do I 24 hours and then just... Do what I can with... Trying to manage the discontent? That's a lot of discontent, so... Bang. It's gonna be hope. Don't really need that rising. Need discontent to fall. Okay. What have we got? Anything that helps me out would be nice. There isn't really anything left. Except the these shrines. Praying at shrines will give people the strength they need to take on arduous tasks every day. Okay. Increases efficiency in nearby workplaces. Raises hope for people working nearby. So that should go. Listen, everyone. So where are we with the... Okay, so one there. One there. Them. The hospitals. That's the old... Oh no, wait, that's got workers there. Steel. Do you know, I'll take that anyway, because we might have to start upgrading people to proper houses, I think, using this wood and steel, since it's kind of going up with no real, I wouldn't say use, but you know what I mean. So I guess we start from the outside in, because these guys will have the generator, so... done before that temperature drops will be okay. Apathy sets in. Sir, the people you ordered... Bleh, let me try that again. Sir, the people you ordered to stay for yet another emergency shift are working very slowly. After so many hours of toil, they've become apathetic. They don't see how we can survive the storm no matter how well we prepare. Faith Keepers, let's go. We need all the motivation we can get. Okay, scouts have returned. Amazing. So, if we can get them to rendezvous with these survivors. We've got nearly reached the Jagged Rock. So close. 36 precious ticks. Go, 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 go. Trying to be built. Alright. We've reached the rocks. Oh no! Oh, I can't believe it! That's absolutely devastating. We reach it and they freeze to death. Oh, that's so annoying. All right, so our scout's are gonna be heroes. They're gonna go get the survivors, bring them back. Man. All right, generator's ready, perfect. So, um, safety bypass. Hub efficiency or generator range. I'm thinking bypass, but I need 80 steel. Right. Cool. Houses. Amazing. Okay, what's this? Prayers at work. Sir, the people employed at this industrial house refuse to work today. They intend on spending the entire shift praying. We've been working like madmen, sir, but there's only so much we can do 
to prepare. Let's face it, this is the end of the world, though through prayer we can find hope of deliverance. Nah, sorry. Back to work. We can't afford for you not to work. Okay, cool. So what have we got? I can go range. Steam hub efficiency, so we burn less coal. Heater efficiency. House insulation. House redesign. Maybe house redesign, because if they're... Is there one level warmer? Alright, so how long have we actually got? Two days. Okay. Take the emergency shift on one of the um, workshops. Oh, storage near capacity. Right, okay, so we're burning heaps of coal. That's good. So, alright, so we found out adaption is useless to us right now. We can have House of Healing. We can have Field Kitchens. Raises the temperature of nearby workplaces by one level. Or we can have a House of Healing that helps with the sick. I feel like Field Kitchens because temperature going up. It's kind of the big priority right now. And it doesn't say that it burns through more food. So, let's have a look. Field kitchen. One there. One there. One there. Can I fit one in here? Oh, perfectly in there. Brilliant. Okay. Amazing. So we want to burn less coal. Get that efficiency. Probably wouldn't waste the steel on the resource depots at this point. I want to be getting houses. and people just sitting around doing nothing, so that's not too bad. Alright, so that's in the construction. Workers. Okay. Good placement, but very finicky to try and click. There we go. Alright, so that road's being built, these houses are being built, okay, oh these scouts just barely escaping the storm, and with that we have episode 10, thank you very much for watching, I definitely feel like we're in the end game now. If you like what you saw and you want to see more, make sure you give me the old thumbs up. If you want to make sure that you don't miss the big storm that's about to come and smash into our city, make sure you hit subscribe so you get the notifications. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.